Shoo! Before we jump in, I gotta let you guys know that tomorrow night, meaning Monday, the 27th, we are gonna be doing a huge garage sale, meaning the shop sale. All this stuff here that you can see is going to be on Rob Turkla's Whatnot. Lunkers TV, he's got a Whatnot, he's been doing a bunch of playing cards, and I posted a video saying, I gotta figure out what to do with all this stuff. You know, this is the stuff we're moving to the new house, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need. And he was like, dude, I'll fly up and we'll do a massive, massive garage sale. And I was like, listen, I'm down. So links down below, you guys can go check it out. You can bookmark it for reminders and whatnot. <laughs> Get it? And whatnot. And uh, you can come join us. We'll be out for probably a few hours. Like I said, he's flying up and we're going to live stream all this. So we got, look, there's a whole thing of reels here. You like, you like the kicks, by the way? The, we got all, the entire box filled with reels. We've got a brand new pair of shoes. I mean, bags of baits, bags of baits, more bags of baits. We got some duck calls, some prototype calls. We got all these trail cameras. Look at like dozens and dozens of trail cameras. I mean, these are all the boxes that I've had since high school, and I just don't need it anymore. I don't need all this tackle. Like, these are all filled to the brim with hard baits. Filled to the brim with hard baits. Filled to the brim with hard baits. You're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff. I mean, just big old bags of baits right there. It is all going to get sold over on whatnot. And we'll probably find some like my cowboy hat right there that we're in videos going on whatnot. We're gonna find some even more stuff, but there's gonna be probably close to 200 items on the whatnot that are gonna get sold tomorrow night meaning Monday, if you're watching this on Monday, then it's tonight. I think it's like 7 p.m. Either way, I'll put the information down in the description down below, but if you wanna come join us for an evening of fun and have a shot at purchasing any of this stuff here, and I mean, it's stuff from you know old videos, like this is the Amazon video, there's a racing boat here. I mean, like I said, there's some really cool vintage stuff in here, um, some one of ones. So anyways, that was kind of what everybody voted to do. That way it evens the playing field. Giveaways are great and we will continue to do giveaways with this at least gives you the opportunity. If you see something that you really want, then you can go get it and it's not just up for luck, right? So if you see something like I really want Flair's cowboy hat, then you can make it happen. Anyways, link down in the description. We will see you guys tomorrow night. Enjoy the video. Shoo! What's going on folks? Welcome back. We are starting the day off. We are going to a place that I wouldn't say I've never been before. I've been several times, but I've never been to try to find fishing stuff. And that is Dollar General. So we are gonna go into Dollar General and we're gonna see what we can find to go out and give it a dangle and try to catch some fish for a catch clean cook. This includes the ingredients for catch clean cook. Um, what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll get all the gear that we need, we'll go catch the fish, and then we'll come back and get all the stuff to cook the fish up. So Dollar General, it's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what they're gonna have in a place like this. So, you know, do I think they're gonna have dangle sticks? Probably not, but they might have some bait that we could potentially use. We might just have to get a little bit creative. We're gonna go walk around, see what they have, see if they have any type of fishing gear. And if not, we did bring some Guggen rods and so, so some a little bit of tackle, but not a lot. Like I said, more importantly, we have to find the bait here, no matter what. Um, I think we came here one time and got stuff for catching crawfish, and I don't really remember it working all that great. We're gonna see, I, I don't know my way around the store all that well. I highly doubt they have a sporting goods section, but we're kind of out in the country. So sometimes you can find some hidden gems in places like this. Not all Dollar Generals carry certain, the same stuff. It all kind of goes kind of goes back and forth. There's gotta be like, some, like where, where's pocket knives? You got those? Yeah. I you know, know, there's gotta be, a, okay. Bug repellent, that's gotta be, we gotta be getting warmer here. So like I said, I don't expect them to have a ton of gear, but I'm hoping they got at least something. I think they got any to uh, tools? No. That's manly stuff. Is that close or no? Nothing? To give it a dangle? It'd probably be in this area, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is all like recreation stuff. Okay, so, okay, they're not gonna have dangles, which again, not all that surprising. Now, we need to try to figure out. You think you can catch them on that? Little pieces, just like little salmon eggs. I mean, that might, that might do it. Some gummies? So do we need to go to the candy aisle then, Banjo? Because I, I don't see... Can. Maybe like corn oh. or... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I say they do like corn. Oh yeah, there's That's grilling stuff. stuff. I don't know. They're, they're not big danglers here. They need. I feel, like, I feel like if every Dollar General carried dangle stuff, they would have success. Oh, what bread? about some bread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the classic Sara Lee. She's got it. Is that the deal? Here oh, yeah. Banjo. 
Oh, you really just drop that? Like, what were you looking at? Those are fire. Yeah, they are. Those aren't. Those aren't. Those are pretty good stuff. You got some. I mean, it depends on what they're gonna be. Mini starbursts. Right. What if we use Swedish fish to oh. catch Swedish fish? Look at that. Yeah, minis. Right. Yeah. And yeah. That, I mean, put it on the hook, yeah. throw it out there, and give it a dangle. But yeah, I agree. Corn sometimes has a, has a moot play there. Um, anything that just looks like a little succulent, something they want to into just something they want to give the suck. Some gummy worms. Gummy worms. We can get some worms. Oh, do they have? I don't. They don't sell them that much anymore. Those uh. Well, they might disintegrate. Those circus peanuts would float, yeah. but I don't think they usually don't sell them, and I, they might That's disintegrate like a too. Supply kind of oh, like true. Food. Dang, he's not, Dude, they, they he's not a big circuit peanut. Chris, circus, do you like those or no? What'd you just say? Circus peanut. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Wait, yeah, those are good. I like. You them. like those? Yeah, they're good. Oh, you know what? It's close. These are airy. Oh, those are so airy starbursts, so that those could float. float. Yeah. All right, so those might float. Spam? I was thinking, what if you put a little spam nuggy on there? Little chunks of white chicken. Really? Think, they think they like chicken? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I do know corn. Corn has worked in the past. I've caught stuff on corn. Whole kernel? Whole kernel. That's probably what I would do. cream stuff. That's all cut up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Whole kernel corn. Is there anything else here? I think they'd like a nice kidney bean or no? No, no kidney bean? I don't know if a jelly bean would... I don't know if a jelly bean would work. It's, it's pretty hard. I mean, that's kind of a hard... It would stay on your hook. I mean, I think... Yeah, yeah we can get... I, I'll eat them either one. I'm not, I ain't complaining. All right, I'm going to make one last pass through the candy aisle. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. What do you got? Oh, that might do it. See, Some ni nice chunk, chunk of meat. All right, nice chunk of meat. They, I mean, fish typically like anise, which smells like black licorice. You could potentially get some licorice because it smells like anise. It's got we got to do something. I mean, this, this, these look like the salmon eggs though. Yeah. The yellow ones. All right, They're let's get those hard. too. I think, you could, I think it would you stay can, on your hook. You can hook it. I think I could hook through it. I could try. Yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of options because we just don't want to go to the lake and then leave empty-handed. So we got a bunch of gummies. What do you got more? Orange cream pop Twizzlers. Yeah, are we just buying stuff because we're hungry or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. What else you got? Is that it? That's <laughs> come with us. Probably corn's gonna think that's probably gonna work. We're gonna just eating all this stuff for ourselves. That? What's going on there? Found the tips. tips. That's a macaroon. A tip? uh, I'm thinking about a nice macaroon. That might that might do it. Okay, we're good. We got to get out of this aisle. This we, we're buying candy for ourselves at this point. That's so we're gonna take the candy and the food that we just bought. And we're gonna head to a lake that I have not fished four or five years. Banjo and I made a video out here like literally four or five years ago. Haven't been back since. We have no idea what's gonna bite. We're gonna take it out and give it a dangle. And then hopefully we catch something. Come back here. Hopefully your recipe for your fish is not all that extravagant because their food selection here is oh, not all that great. Back. Yeah. I want to just do it now. You want to come back? Well, we, you, don't, you don't jinx yourself, yeah, Banjo. You, you can't. Sure. You gotta make. You, you gotta, confident you gotta in catch a fish first. And then we'll come back and get because we don't know what we're gonna catch. There's catfish in this lake. There's bass. There's bluegill. There's crappie. There's trout. There's a little bit of everything in this lake. So we have no idea what is gonna bite. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, it's blowing 42 out here, boys. So we got the all the dangle lures here and some dangle sticks right on in here. That'll do it, buddy. The old Guggen stick. So we're going to down on this beach. We normally fish bands and I, we fished on that dock that one video. And uh, now the wind's blowing really far to the south, or hard to the south, so we're gonna come on the south end, so it's a little bit calmer. Do you wanna take that tackle box too, or no? Yeah, we can. Just in case? Yeah. In case, I guess there's pliers in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Take some nice pliers, see what happens. Yeah, just throw all that in there. We'll, we'll bring it all. We'll throw the kitchen sink up these sons of guns. Oh yeah, we need the, the live well too. He's got it. Can we take go. that? Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, they'll be all right. All right, let's go down here. See if we can find us a fish. Like I said, they, they did stock this place with trout. You guys love the last trout video we did. You got your keys? Huh? You got your keys? No. You don't want to lock it? What, if someone steals, I'll go kick their ass. All right. We're right here. There's, there's, there's three of them. Uh, yeah, they, they have trout in here, so we might catch some of those. Um, bluegills, crappie, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, this is, this is the spot to be with the wind because we should be able to cast with the wind and get it out in the middle there. Let's see what happens. Hey, see, somebody got it. They had corn. He, he's, he, they're dialed. Start, yeah, take your pick here, buddy. Swedish fish. These little doohickeys. I want to find something that'll... I mean, corn's pretty good. Like, I want something that floats. Should I just try corn? Oh, those, oh, will, those will do it. These should float, dude. I just... A lot of times there's this, like... Especially in, after the winter. 
everything winter kills and goes to the bottom, you want your lure up off the bottom. Mm. How are those? Mm, these are pretty freaking good. You like those? I'm using the meat. Sink like a rock. All right. Well, I'm gonna try corn. Corn won't float. I've caught I've caught fish on corn before. You like that? Horrible sound. There it is, buddy. <laughs> ah. Uh -huh. All right. I'm gonna start with some corn. Two pieces of corn going on my hook, just How like do you that. Think that looks? looks like a piece of meat. I mean, yeah. I'd eat it. The question is, do you want this on the bottom or no? Should I try to suspend it for a while? You can do whatever you want to do. This thing ain't been cast in a few years. <laughs> that was a little rough. That was a little rough. This thing, the, the braid's all bound up here. How are those? A little sour or what? Christ. I don't know they're supposed to be sour. That's their sweet tarts. Oh, you're getting one. Uh -uh. That's wind. It's going under. Is that a bite or the wind? Oh, uh, yours went under, under. Did yours go under too? Yeah. I think ours went under at the same time. I'm, I got sucked off. Daniel got sucked. You got sucked? Yeah. They just got sucked off. No way. Nah, we're good. What are you using? Corn. All right, corn, corn is deployed. I'm gonna go with a jelly bean. This orange looks the most like a salmon egg. We say that as if these trout came from, you know, Montana and yeah. know what a salmon egg is, but for some reason, we catch them on salmon eggs. All right, should I try to hook this thing? Oh, dear Lord. That's dense. I mean, I think, lemon drop. I think it come off. I mean, that trout's gonna have to freaking give her a Quite the yank. fat suck. Just a skip. Ran out of the line. Hang on. Oh yeah. She oh, stayed on there. there. She stayed on there too. <sighs> All right. We got a jelly bean and a piece of corn and banjo. What are you throwing? He's onto the gummy worm. Stay tuned. All right. We just moved. With that wind, we just couldn't take the wind anymore. So we're now we're actually in a very calm area. I tried no bobber, bobber. I tried everything but probably bread and maybe a gummy of some sort. But everything else we've kind of rotated. The fish around here though seem to just kind of come in spurts a little bit. But my go-to for trout in particular has always been corn. Is that, is that can in here? He's got Back it. Here. Oh, you little he's corn up. hoarder. What are you gonna call me? Corn hoarder. All right. Really? So we're going to take some corn. So that's always been my tried and true. So we're going to try in this little calm area. We're going to go target a trout. That's what we're going to go for. The most recent fishing video was trout again. We'll have to come up with a new recipe. But about the only cold water fish though. Yeah, the only thing that really gets it gets all horned up when it's cold is a trout. So throw a little corn, keep it shallow. All right. Corn has been deployed. On the other one, I, I still feel like a jelly bean will do it. You think? What if I try a yellow jelly bean that looks like corn? Oh. Yeah, you, know. yeah, you might have to figure it out. All right. We'll rig this suck up over here. Those jelly beans go hard. Are they? They good? First Are one they? I had lit my ass on fire is really sour. But the, after after that first one, I got, the taste buds got ac, uh, acclimated. Acclimated. Yeah. It's a big word. Nice yellow. That does look like corn. I mean, doesn't that look like corn? And it'll stay on there a lot better. Yeah. That's out. You try throwing some corn that far. You can't. You can't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You might have figured something out. Mr. Jelly Bean over here. Now we wait. Corn, jelly bean. Benji, you throwing corn too? Yeah, Banjo's going on the corn. See what happens. Yours went under. Did they get robbed? No, you still got it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you got my line. Oh. Oh, this That's all, make, this all makes sense now. We suck there you or go. what? There we go. We're good. How the hell did your line go all the way over there? You know? Couldn't tell you. All right, Banjo and I still suck. False alarm. We definitely thought somebody played with our corn. Fish. That's gotta be a fish, right? That's a fish. 100 percent Do I set it? Just yank swing. it and set that fucking hook. No. <laughs> not, <laughs> not <laughs> what do you got going on? I don't know what's going on. They don't want anything we got, including the corn. You buy every bait under the sun. Every lure that you could buy at a dollar general and they're not about it. Yeah, but gimme. That's what I'm saying. Is that it or is that you? Nah, I ain't doing nothing. Got one! No way! No way! No way! No way! Let's 
go! That's a tank, dude! That's a big boy. On the corn, finally! Holy smokes! Holy dude, smokes! Dude, he's being all finicky with it. Was he? He just like barely tapped it. Barely tapped it. I saw your finally, bobber flick once. Finally, was running away. So we have been getting bites, probably. Yeah, it's just, we just suck. Dude, that's, that's a. a big old I say that's a big freaking trout, he's dude. He's got that big pink stripe on him too. Look at that guy. Sheesh. Good work, dude. Bare, like just right in the corner, barely. And he was going with it. He, so barely he, had it in his mouth. So he just barely. Dude, they're finicky. Yeah, they are. Let's go. <laughs> now we're eating, boys. That took way too long. Hours. I was gonna say, was that? That was two hours. We've been hanging out in this one spot. Look, see, they're jumping. They're jumping right there. That's the problem. That's why we've been staying in this area. They're jumping. We're seeing activity. After seeing that, though, they are finicky, dude. They are. That like, took a lot way of too finicky. Way finickier than they should be. So I think we are getting bites. We're just, you got to just be ready for them. Yeah. I think you just got to hold your rod. Just hold your rod and just be ready. Because he didn't even take the bobber all the way under. Oh, he really? He stood it up and was running away. And you just and set, like, it. set it. So they're just, they're not swallowing. I wonder if they just, they're not. They, they, once they realize it's corn, maybe they don't like it. In my experience, they actually eat corn. Like, they will, not on a regular basis, but, like, normally they'll swallow it. It's like a night crawler or something. That's another thing we could potentially. True. I guess we don't have night crawlers. No, we don't no, have yeah, night crawlers. Yeah, yeah. So that, that would be we maybe another We worms. Worm. True. Yeah. I think they're putting it in their mouth. They're giving it a suck. And then if it's not what they want it to be, they're spitting it out. Yeah, just spitting it right So you got to be there ready for when, when you're getting sucked, you're able to set the hook yeah. immediately. You'll be ready for the set. You'll be ready. All right, we got one. Hopefully we can get a couple more. And then we gotta go back to Dollar General Figure and get the ingredients, because I don't know how to cook this sucker. Gotta try something new, stay tuned. Shoo! All right, fish for another hour and 15 minutes and didn't get another sniffer. So, I said, listen, try to get back before dark. We are back at the General Dollar here. And now we gotta go see what they got to cook with. I'll be honest, the slim pickings out here with the food selection from this joint. So we're gonna find out what's going on here. How are we doing? Yeah, all right. He's this is brutal, isn't it? What's going on there? Yeah. Minced garlic? Yeah, you want some? How are we gonna make a meal out of this place? You got some guac? What if we made, yeah, what if we made like taco? We, we could probably make a taco. Do they have, have tortillas? Mushrooms. I mean, they have guacamole. It's like half of what you need for tacos. Lettuce. Huh? This camera's on, yeah. Yeah, we're filming a video making tacos, like a tutorial on it. You, you guys have tortillas? Okay. All right, well, this guy's, he's not having it. Oh, this would do it. Okay. Oh, that's one for, uh, for this side. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's perfect. perfect. We'll take that. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anything else I can help you find? So, le salsa maybe? Yeah, taco uh, sauce or something. Salsa, that's a matter of fact. Okay. okay. He's nice. We're good. We're good. Now he's on our side. He switched sides. He, Banjo gave him a kiss. Now he's, he's all about it. Cheese and sour cream. This guy knows how to make a taco. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. This is great. All right, we're good. We're good. What happened there? Why, why, what, Banjo, what did you, what'd you do? I saw him, you went around the corner, he come back all happy. <laughs> what happened? Dude, he was passed out the gate. Yeah. Is, that, is that camera on? Yeah. Who can I ask why? Then Banjo's like, listen, I've got this trick I show people. And he came back and he's all about it. Get some nice cream. Okay, Let's so we have cream, we have guacamole, we've got uh, salsa, we've got tortillas, we've got lettuce. So I think the way we're gonna have to do this is in the last trout episode, we cooked it, took it off the bone, and then we actually made crab cakes with them. So what we'll do is we'll cook it, take off the bone, and put it in a tortilla. That's kind of the plan. So um, we don't need much, but some nice seasoning would help. Oh, they had some, oh. They had some seasoning. hang on. Sure. This is where we're going to have some probably some good stuff here. Uh, all right, what's going on here? Old Bay. I mean, Old Bay is all you need, to be honest with you. When it comes to fish, oh, yeah. That, that, I think that'll build you a taco. You want some I think taco be good? seasoning? No, we don't, no, no old, old Bay I think would be fine. Yeah. Old Bay, sour else. cream, lettuce, guac, cheese, tortillas, salsa, trout's like, in the back. Like lemon, just like lemon juice to put on the fish. What about, no, uh, lime. lime. You need That's lime. Right lime they, they, have they have a lime? They fresh ones too. Do they really have a fresh yeah, If we have a, a fresh lime, I think we'll be in business, honestly. This stuff? Oh, no, it's all right. Thank you, though. This is lime juice. I mean, that... There you go. Is there freshies? There's fresh. Yeah, let's take it. Let's make marks while we're at it. No, I'm just kidding. Really? All right. We're good. I, mean, I think we were trying to make some trout tacos, so stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, we can't show you this on YouTube, so showing you on uncut. You guys want to know how to clean trout? You got to go over there. Bam! Look at that nice trout. How you, how you doing, Thumpy? He's a little humping sucker. Let's call him Thumpy. <laughs> so, Chief loves it. We got a uh, nice filet trout cleaned up, and we are going to bake it to get the meat cooked where it's tender, falls off the bone, 
and then we're gonna assemble tacos and see what trout tacos will taste like. So seasoning wise, we did get some nice Old Bay, which is kind of a go-to. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's probably, it's gotta be a national thing, right? Hey, oh yeah, it's not everybody, big. Everybody knows what's going on with this thing. So this stuff, this stuff's pretty good for, for fish, or any type of seafood for that matter. I'd, get the I'd say let's go heavy this time. And give, give, her, give her a good sprinkle. Yep. Go ahead and spread it. Load it up in there. Oh yeah. There it is, man. How's that make you feel? Got the mystery seasoning too for you. Oh, we got some mystery. Yeah. Uh, this is a sample testing product that we might or may or there it is. That came out. That came. Yeah, we're yeah, still yeah. testing the lid. <laughs> <laughs> so this goes in the oven for 12 minutes at 400. The grease. Once it's cooked, we'll take it out and we'll show you how we attempt to. Debone it without getting bones in there, which we're really good at. You'll see that in a second. And then we're gonna make tacos. Stay tuned. Shee! Look at that nice fish. Oh yeah. Sheesh. Oh yeah. I think she it's seasoned, seasoned better than last time. Oh, oh yeah, we, we went hard on the seasoning yeah. on this one. Situate this. Oh yeah, it's coming off. You'll know when that's once that skin starts doing skin things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She gonna be tender. Look at this. Oh yeah. That's gonna fall right off the bone, baby. That's some juicy, one-boned trout. So we're gonna go ahead and try to fork some of this off. Should I try to pull the vertebrae? I mean, that kind of worked good last time. This thing. Get that out of there. The real question is, can I get this meat off of this? Without letting all, oh! That was pretty good. Uh, are we missing half a rib cage or? Uh, no, it just goes like that. I think we're okay. There may or may not be bones in there. Oh, that's, you that's a good one. That was a good one. All right, so bone, okay. This guy right here should be, bo you think so? Oh, I think he's boneless. What are they, are they boxing in there? What do they got going on? I don't know. Who's winning? <laughs> Sounds like Thumpy's getting after it. Thumpy thumping? I mean, there's definitely bones in there. I mean. Yeah, I mean, that's a bone. Somebody, I'm sure. Flair, you don't know what you're doing. We know. We know. We know. <laughs> you don't have to say it. It's obvious. I get it. Probably should have watched a few more YouTube videos. Taco meat. Go ahead and just skin, no problem. Go ahead and just chop the rest of this up. Look for any rib cages <clears throat> lingering around. Yeah. All right, hot taco. Let's see if we can make a couple of these. Your, your tortillas are. On the, we need like those street taco sizes and tortillas. These are Dollar General did not have anything I, uh, else. Well, yeah, we got lucky they even had tortillas yeah. in general. What do we do right we now? Want to take bites of the same taco? I think we might have to. Yeah, we might. Should we all just yeah, just load one big taco? Then that guy. There was a real big one in there somewhere. <laughs> That's fine. This is brutal, dude. <laughs> this is a struggle meal. This is a real struggle meal. I mean, it was for Dollar General, so yeah, you're struggling. I mean. Yeah. Do we figure out how much this costs? Do we actually even save any money, or could we have just gone to like Walmart? Twenty-seven dollars or something yeah. stupid. Yeah, like I feel that. like that because it's not dollar tr tree. That one's like where everything. So it's generally a dollar plus or minus. Generally like five twenty or thirty dollars. Round numbers and like two dollars. Yeah, four, like five dollars. Yeah, it's it's. How is that? How does no wow. one? How has no one sued them for false advertising? Yeah, I, don't I know walked that. in there expecting to walk out spending one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. Yeah, twenty-seven dollars later. Really? Should we just rip a couple leaves? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Or do you want to chop it? Do you want to finally chop no, it? Like, just, like just throw a couple leaves in there. It's already a struggle yeah, meal. Right. This is brutal, dude. This is. I am not. A, I'm not. I'm ashamed of this meal. This is not one that I'm proud of. I'll be honest. It just doesn't look all that great, does it? No, it looks. With the, like the random lettuce strips in here too. This is not. Really, it's not really. Putting, are we putting cheese or no cheese? I mean, is it gonna cheese. make it worse? I feel like it can't make it worse, right? So we have guacamole here. <laughs> we'll go ahead and throw that in there. That can't hurt anything, I feel like. And some salsa. I mean, it, I mean, it'll taste okay. It's just not all that appetizing <laughs> looking, you know? Oh, and we got some of that. Does it not? It looks nasty. I really had some hopes. I'm like, dude, tacos. Those, you can't, how do you mess up tacos? You just pour the water off the top of the jar of salsa. That's like, that's like not shaking up the ketchup. Yeah. And it's it's it not in. chunky. It's restaurant set. It's all water. Oh, it is watery. I yeah. see. Okay, all right. What, okay, well, lime, lime. We, we can't oh, scan. You, you have a knife on this? Yeah, I don't know where it went. All right, this, this, will, this will make it authentic. I really? Think. Really? I don't think so. I don't think this will help? I mean, that can't hurt, right? I'll do it. This one is not going to make the cookbook. 
This is this is not. I'm just gonna go burrito at this point. We're too far. We're too deep. I feel like burrito. Yeah. Game time decision. Ga- yeah, wow. just game game time decision here. We can hey, we can cut this sucker. Oh, yeah, there you Th- go. Then it's a burrito. See, game time decision. Now you get. We can do a third of a burrito. We might do it in fours. Samantha, you want some? You get a third. No. Oh, come on, take a little bite. We can do we can do fours if you want. I mean. Yikes. <laughs> Golly. Oh, right here, right here, right right off the rip. There it is. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah. Dude, that looks disgusting. Okay, yeah, I'll be honest. Close. That this looks bad. real bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest. This is a bad real. idea. All right, here we go. Oh, bomb. Mm-hmm. 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 Man, just mm-hmm. a little shake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mush. Did you get mush? Because I got mush. That cannot make the cookbook. Can you please try it? Please, just a little. No. Please, Do you guys little. want some water? Andrew, Peer I think you pressure. need some water. <laughs> you need some I, need water. I need more than water. You have vodka? Yeah, you, yeah, you <laughs> have a whole thing of it. Believe it or not, he has it ready to go. <laughs> this guy. How did we I crush mean, the crab cakes and then this? This is just bad. Is it bad, bad? It's awful. Like, like honestly, inedible. inedible. Why is he going in for seconds, you sicko? I'm not finished The fish yet. ain't even good. No. Nothing's good. That's a bad meal. Like, I'm not, that's, I'm like, that's like top three worst we've ever made. <laughs> and I've done, I've had no utensils in the woods before that's, with no seasoning. That's worse than possum. Yeah, I agree. Didn't you cook a steak Raccoon. on a rock? I cooked a steak oh, on a rock and that would blow this out of the water. <laughs> I mean, this is just, brutal, dude. I mean, just the meat's not good. No, the meat's not good at all. I don't know what, I don't know what you do to make it better, but it's yeah, not it's good. It's just like mushy. It's meat. mushy. Jake, you gotta try it. Yeah, you gotta get in there. Jesus. It just looks. It, it, it tastes worse than it looks. Yeah. I'm chilling that. No, I, 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 we failed. We, I, this is, I'll, I failed on this one. This was an yeah. epic, epic failure. Yeah, okay. You might need a chaser. Overly confident. No, this was an epic failure. Not even gonna, not even gonna try to act like this is a good one. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh my God. He had, he had a whole rib cage, not what I think. Floss your teeth with it. There you go. Oh. Yeah. There's a whole. Is that just a, a piece of, oh, wow. It's just a piece of cartilage? What wow. is that? <laughs> there it is. That is, I would it's not even that to my dog. No, I agree. I, think I would we either. Need to retire from trout. We're done trout. That no, no more the trout. Worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. That's <laughs> I, I, no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> it was bad. That was all, like yeah. You would, something in there tastes rotten. I know. I think I think if the fish was wet, like a little. I mean, something was wrong with that fish, because you would like you would think just some just some like you know tender fish put in a tortilla wouldn't have been the end of the planet it was though that was the end of the that's not it's the it. worst thing i've ever tasted in my life all right if you guys want to know how to cook trout the right way go watch the other video what did we do in that video we oh we we fished behind the stocking truck yeah, 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 we made better. crab cakes with trout and it was phenomenal and then i that gave us the boost of confidence we didn't need and we tried to swing for the fences like we can go to dollar general and do this this can't be that hard no you can't no, go to Walmart. No, you can't. You cannot make it happen at Dollar General. Okay, it's just not. It's just not possible. Pull that out of my teeth. There. Like, I mean, we would have been better off just eating it off the trout. Yeah. And I not mess with it. Good when it came out and not mess with the taco. I had like a bad, like it's aftertaste. Like. Yeah, that was not. I think I really do think the meat was not as good as the one we did before, and I don't know what the yeah. difference is because we cooked it with the same seasoning and we put it in for the same time, the same time. And it yeah. fell off the bone. Yeah, I don't know. And the bone came with it at times, occasionally. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was definitely a struggle to catch them. It took us several hours to catch one fish. Shout out to Jake for catching it. I, I, I almost wish you didn't have. I wish, I wish we would have just scrapped this video and you guys would never have seen it because um, now I need to go get dinner somewhere else besides there. Like, I'd really draw Long John Silver's. And that's saying a lot, dude. Like That is saying a lot. What are you Pulling them out of my teeth. There it is. Brutal. There it is. You want some? What do you got cooking in here? Corn Look. and cabbage. What are you, Irish? Yeah, I am. Oh, well, happy St. Patrick's yeah. Day to Banjo. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let us know if you want to see some more challenges like this again. Please do not make us do trout, though. We will do any other species but trout. Trout is off limits for the channel. If you guys enjoyed today's video, catch you in. Peace.